The life cycle of a project can be broken down into five distinct process groups that organize a project from start to finish. In this lesson, we'll take a high-level look at each of these process groups and how they depend on each other to guide the project to a successful finish. The initiating process group is when the project is authorized by the sponsor and senior management. This is also when the project manager is chosen and high-level goals are set by the major stakeholders. The planning process group refines and defines the project objectives and then plans the steps necessary to achieve those objectives within the project scope. This is when budgets are estimated, timelines are set, and the deliverable is defined. The executing process group takes the project management plan and puts it into action. This is when all the project work gets done. During this process, resources are combined with the project management plan to carry out the plan for the project. Throughout the project life cycle, there will be a need to control change and monitor that the project is on time and on budget while still producing a quality deliverable. During the monitoring and controlling process, project change requests get approved or rejected, defect repairs are approved, and updates to the project scope and the project management plan are reviewed. This is the process group that is ultimately responsible for approving the final deliverables of the project. After all the deliverables of the project are created, the closing process group still has to close the overall project and provide the deliverables to the customer. Vendors need to get paid and accounts need to be updated. It's during this process when the formal acceptance of the product or service is obtained from the customer and there is an orderly close to the project.